Oh my gourd. Oh, get it, pumpkin? Ha, <laughs> dad joke. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As well as my friends at yarnspirations.com. I'm your pathetic host today. Five millimeter size H crochet hook. I'm completely out of order. And we're gonna be making these pumpkin spice crochet cozies. Cause you know, pumpkin spice is the big to do. Uh, we're going to begin today. There are two different color versions. If you want, both are the same. As far as stitch work, you can decide any color that you want. And we're gonna begin. So the color variations are on the pattern. See the video description for the link to this bad boy. And there's also, yes, crochet die group. Woo -hoo -hoo. Number two. So without further ado, let's get hooking and let's start right away. Let's begin with a slip knot. And I'm gonna show you a little trick right off the hop. And let's just chain 28, but I wanna do just the first 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Before you continue, you don't wanna twist this chain. So if you just tip it and get the first one and then go back, you're gonna continue then at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Once you have that, because you did this, you're not gonna have a twisted chain. And once you have the 28, just yarn over, pull through and through. And bada boom, bada bing. And we're going to move on to round number one. Round number one, I want you to put the straggler with it and just chain up one so you can put the straggler underneath so you don't gotta sew. And the same one that you did the join with, I want you to put in one single crochet going right up over top of that loose end as well. So you're gonna go into every one of the chains around. There's a total of 28 and you're gonna do that. So single crochet and meet me back here in just a moment. So put me on pause now. When you get back around, make sure there is 28 before you join it. And when you do join it, you wanna make sure that you can follow the top of here. So just follow the top and make sure it's still on the top on this side and therefore you'll know where to join it. So you're just gonna do a slip stitch to the first one. And pull through and through. Now, if you went over top of the straggler like I did, then you can just safely just wherever that's popping out, just take it out of the equation and snippy snip. So let's begin round number two. We need to get our secondary color, which is your gourd, AKA pumpkin. Let's begin round number two, and we are going to have our pumpkin as our next color. And when we're not using the color, it's carried behind the work, not underneath the stitches. So when we go to start round number two, you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the same one of the join. However, you need to get ready because the ending of a stitch is the top of the next. So we need to have the next one as the pumpkin. So just leave it long tail. We'll secure that in later. And you're going to pull this yarn through. Leave the green behind the project. So don't worry about it and just go right into the next one. And you can uh, kind of go over top of the tail if you want to there to get rid of this tail. So you're now going to do a bobble. So how you do that is you yarn over and you go into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. And you do that four times. So yarn over and into the stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. And you keep doing that until you see five loops on the hook. You're now going to kind of securely and use your thumb to push forward. You're going to just pull through all of it like this. And then you're going to let the orange fall behind and grab the green that you had. And you're going to pick up the green and you're going to chain one with the green. So leaving the orange behind, so don't go up over it. You're going to half double crochet the next three as green, but the last one has to be changed on the very last pull through. So we start the first one, keep your stitch work nice and tight to make sure these pumpkins stay popped out. So we have one, two, and the third, but we don't finish it. We let the green fall in behind and we grab the pumpkin color and we finish it because that'll be the next one there. So when you pull that up, make sure that it's not so tight that it's not being flexible. So if you think it's being squashed a little bit, just ease off on the tension a bit. 
and then you can start your next bobble. So remember the bobble is yarning over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold, and you do that four times. It's critical that when you pull through all of the loops, once you see five, that you're tight about it. Okay, so use your finger, push forward and be tight. So I did not allow any yarn to go in, so it pops it out. And once you have that done, let it go and grab the green again. And the green is a chain one. And you'll do the next green like I just showed you. So you'll do the three and on the third one, you'll change to the pumpkin color. And then you'll do another pumpkin in the next one and do all this around for round number two. So when you come all the way around, there's just two greens that are left. Now it does not say to switch uh, cut colors for the next portion of this. So you can either keep the pumpkin color just buried in behind and just leave it until you have to use it again, or you can trim it and fasten off properly. Once you're all the way back around, there's two after this last pumpkin and you are going to slip stitch to the first green one here on this side. Okay, so you got your pumpkins all here and we're now going to move on and we need to get our stem color, which will then take us into round number three. So let's begin round number three. For tutorial reasons, I cut my pumpkin so that it's out of the way and I wanna have my brown ready. And so when we go to start, you're going to chain one and you'll single crochet in the top of the first half double crochet that is the green one. But you don't wanna finish it. You wanna finish it with the brown because the stem is gonna be the top of the next stitch. So it has to be brown. So just looping it and you'll secure that later. Now the pumpkins are made up of four double crochet. You're gonna go between the second and the third one. So just go between the posts and you're going to single crochet between them like that. So the pumpkin stem is next. So you go between the second and the third one, just in between and you yarn over, pull through, but you don't wanna finish it because you need the green to be ready for the next one. So picking up the green, you wanna finish that one with the green there, cause that's the top of the next stitch. So there's the stem of your pumpkin. So now here, these three are going to be green. And so you just gotta watch the last one. So leaving the brown in behind so it's out of the way. And on the third one, we switch back to the brown. So we grab the color from the brown ball. And when you pull into it, don't pull so that it's going to condense anything. So keep it relatively taut, but not too tight. So then you're going to go between the second and the third. And you're going to pull through but you cannot finish with that color because you need the green to be the top of the next stitch. So you pull the green to finish and there is your stem. So I need you to do this all the way around for round number three. So when you get around on number three, the last two are the green and then you're just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that you started with. So as we continue, you can keep your colors going. You will use the stems again. For tutorial purposes, I'm gonna cut the stem color so it's out of my way. And the, we're going to be bringing back the pumpkins uh, color yet again. And we're gonna start round number four in just a moment. As we begin number four, you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the first one. And then in the pumpkin stems, you are going to half double crochet in the back loop only. So if you go into the both, that's the full stitch. If you just go into the one in behind, that's the back loop. So you're just gonna half double crochet in the back loop only. And then you're going to half double crochet in the regular stitch, but the pumpkin is gonna be next. And so I wanna loop through my pumpkin to finish off this color of stitch here so that the next topping is the pumpkin itself. So if that wasn't already off your needles, you're just gonna pick it up for where it was and then just drag it on the inside, but make sure it's not too tight. So now we're going to start and the next one will be the pumpkin. So if there's three green stitches, it's always the middle one that is gonna be the pumpkin and it's the bobble that you already know it to be. And if you wanna go over top of a straggler, if you have that, 
like I do, then you can go there. And so you'll do your bobble and you have to see how many loops on the hook. Did you say five? If you see five, so pull tight like that, let it drop and you're gonna grab the green again and finish and chain one with the green and then the next three here will be green. So let the pumpkin just ride in behind. So the first one is a half double crochet in the regular stitch. The next one is a half double crochet in the back loop only. And the next one is a half double crochet in the regular stitch. But because the pumpkin is next, we wanna just drop that and grab the pumpkin color leading to the ball and finish it. So you're gonna do exactly what you've done before. So your pumpkin and then your three greens, pumpkin and so forth. Please do this all the way around for round number four. The last stitch when you come around on this round will be the bobbles. So we want to make sure that we switch over. And so this will be the last one. And then we'll get that done, pull through and we want the green to finish. So we're going to pull the green and this will be it for the pumpkin for again. And then we start in the top, uh, we slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet. So if you want to leave the pumpkin color on there, you can, cause you will need it again. And then we're going to move on and we're going to be bringing back brown because we need to put the stems on this one now. So we're going to begin and you're going to chain a one and the first three will be the green, but you do need to change that last third one to brown on the last one so that the top of the stem can be brown. So you just loop it in. And if you left it on your project, you can just carry it up. And it's like before, so you're gonna separate the second and the third, single crochet, and change the yarn back to green, just to finish that one off. And then you start with your next three, and the, there'll be green. And so the third one, you have to change the top back to brown. And then just keep making your pumpkin stems and continue that same idea going all the way around. I'll be right back. So when you get back around, you would have changed this. So the brown here stem is the very last stitch. So now you've changed the top to be green. And so then you can slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. So let's move on to round number six, where we're going to be putting pumpkins in again. And we're going to start and you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the first one. But we wanna change this back to the pumpkin color. So I'm just gonna put it back on. So if you're carrying it up on the inside, just grab it and pull it up. In my case, I'm just keeping it separate to make it easier to see on camera. And I'm using my pumpkin and I'm going to bobble into the next stitch. pull through everything and grab my green. So this is gonna be very similar to the last time we did pumpkin, so you pull through. And so the first green one here will be a half double crochet in the regular stitch. Keep things nice and tight. And then use the back loop only at the top of the stem for the next one. And then use the full stitch for the next half double crochet. And on the last pull through, make sure you get your orange ready so that the next one will be the pumpkin. So you're going to continue that same idea going around and I'll see you at the end of the round. So I'm coming all the way back around and I have two stitches left after the last pumpkin. Now the pumpkin color is technically done on this uh, sample. So if you've been carrying it like a good person all the way through, um, now's the time to cut it and you can weave in your ends. Uh, but for people like me that have been cutting as I go, I'm just creating this to be a little bit more work for myself. But then um, it's just, you have to decide what works for you. So I'm going to now move on and we need to do stems for the last set of pumpkins that we just created. And we're gonna be bringing in the brown and like a good boy, I've actually been dragging my brown. So who would have thought it? Eh? So let's move on to the next round. So let's start the next round, number seven, you're going to chain one and you'll apply one uh, single crochet with the green. 
but the stem has to be the next color. So we have to finish that with the green or with the brown and then splitting the second and the third one. And the top has to be switched back to green to be ready for the next one. So the next three are green. So we have one, two, and three. And we have to finish that with the brown so that the color will stay consistent. And then we split the second and the third. Okay, so you're gonna do that all the way around for round number seven. We got one more round after this. Coming up to the end of round number seven and I just slip stitched to the first green one here. So all colors are now done other than the main color. In my case, it'll be green. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'll pull that down. I will show you how just to weave in your ends later. And we got one more round, lucky round number eight. So last round it is, just chain up one and you are going to apply one single crochet in each. If it's a stem, just stay in the back loop only to be consistent. And then the rest of them are just the regular stitches. So single crochet around and just handle those stems differently. And then we'll be back at the end of the round to just finalize today's tutorial. So I'm coming all the way back around, last one's in, and I slip stitch to the top of the first. Now, let's weave in our ends. I'm gonna show you how to do it just on one, one of them. And so if you carried up your yarns and not cut them like I did, you won't have all of this hanging out at the bottom. They'll all be carried up on the inside. And to get rid of these, you just need to weave it in back and forth a total of three times. So any of the loose ends, so you, you are gonna have a starting of the brown and the pumpkin color. Um, but you would have carried it if you wanted to. And we are just going to secure it in with the tapestry needle. So looking towards the inside, just dragging it here. So don't allow that needle to come into the other side here to change any of the color sequence. So coming through once, twice, and three times is a charm. Okay, and so you're done with that. And so any of the other loose ends, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. And then once you secure this and you put it onto your cup, these pumpkins are gonna jump out and it'll be a great time. So this here is the Pumpkin Spice Crochet Cozy.